Hi, Miles and Martha Loss, your local real estate experts. Today, I'm going to talk about the second issue that sellers run into in a strong seller's market, and that's the appraisal. I mean, it makes sense. You've got low inventory, a lot of buyers, high demand. They come in and they start competing for your property. So the property was listed for $300,000 and it ultimately goes on a contract for, say, three forty. dollars Makes sense. There may be an issue with the value there. Here's what you don't want to do is I've seen some real estate agents that will make a note in the realtor-owner remarks, and that's the remarks for real estate agents only, not the general public, and will say the seller is requiring that the buyer include in the contract that they're going to pay the difference between appraised value and sales price. That's not what you want to do. Most buyers won't make an offer or actually view your property when they find out that's there. The second thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have the listing agent or the seller meet the appraiser at the property, go over the value, show them comparables, plead your case. First of all, that basically crosses an ethics line because the appraiser is supposed to be an independent third party establishing value for your property and they're supposed to be not influenced by you know, third parties. The other thing is you can actually rub the appraiser the wrong way and it's not something you wanna do. Here's how you actually handle it is first of all, you need to look at the offers and the highest offer isn't always the best offer. So you could have a financing offer at 340 and one at 335, which is a cash offer. You may want to go with a cash offer, particularly if there's a wide gap between uh, your list price and the actual contract price. Now, the other thing is after you have your multiple offers in and you've got say three, four, five, 10, 12, whatever buyers competing for the property, your agent can go back to those buyers and chances are they'll be able to find one or two that actually will agree to cover the difference between the praise value and the purchase price and put it in the contract. That's your best case scenario. If you can find that, you wanna go ahead and go with that. Now, if you actually go under contract and you have a situation where the property didn't appraise, you have to go back to the agent and tell them their buyer needs to bring the difference. If they say, no, the buyer can't, whatever. I understand, I'm sorry to hear that. However, your client's no longer the highest and best offer. So either we move forward with the buyer bringing the difference or please send the cancellation of contract. Now you go to the other buyers and chances are you run into buyers where this is their second, third, fourth offer on a different property. So they've done this three or four times. They've lost three or four properties. They're desperate, they're upset, and they're a lot more willing to work with you. And it's that type of buyer that actually will bring the difference. So the agent needs to go out, look for these buyers in the highest and best, find them and get you your best offer. I'll talk to you soon with number three.